Hi Sagittarius, welcome to my channel. This is a special tarot reading session for you Sagittarius. This reading for today, Sagittarius, this is a full year 2022 reading. Thank you so much Sagittarius for coming back. Thank you so much for trusting me to do your reading. This is a full year reading for you, okay? The reading for today will cover career, finance, love situationship. And the reading for today is going to be monthly, quarterly, and the whole year. Um, this is for the sign of Sagittarius. Thank you guys for coming back. Thanks for being here. Guest viewers, if you haven't clicked the bell, click the bell now and click subscribe. Okay? And if you would like to further connect with me, Sagittarius, I invite you to please also connect. Ooh, lover's card. I love it. Ooh, okay. Own two of cups. Wow, this is so juicy. I'm feeling the love. I'm really feeling the love, Sagittarius, okay? So if you would like to further connect with me. Ooh, King of Wands. Sorry, the Emperor card. I'm so excited to do your reading. I need to finish my introduction. Um, yeah, connect with me via my website. Don't forget to subscribe in our newsletter. Sign up in the mailing list. We have uploaded the setting intention candle. There is one ritual candle for you in the website the merchandise please have a look at it sagittarius because it comes with a free birth chart reading birth chart reading is based on your personality if you know yourself you can react well to situation and not being impulsive so i if you haven't done a birth chart reading please check it out it's in the website it comes free for the setting your intention candle there is one specially made for you so it's a candle that you light it up or burn it if you want to set intention it's not for <laughs> it's not for burning and you know making a fragrance it is touched by a reiki so please don't i mean when it well i light my candle every morning and i set my intention and my intention is to say thank you and hope everybody's healthy and happy you light it up you say your manifestation your intention and then you you know you know stop from there but it's not like a candle that you burn all the time so it's a special candle for setting intention so if you want to know the details the website it's in the website okay i know you know what i mean i know that you get me the, the, yeah sorry okay yeah i better start my reading because i am stammering okay all right so let's start let's start your reading subject let me just ground myself okay okay all right thank you all right so let's start your reading sagittarius this is full year month by month quarterly full year 2022 what can i get for sagittarius please okay you started off with a nine of cups you've got the lover's card you've got a two of cups it seems to be that in the first quarter of 2022 nine of cups i felt like right now you are feeling great about a wish come true I don't think it's related to love. I think it's related to money. It's related to career. There's something that you have released and there is an incoming opportunity for you. There's a business or it, if it's not a business, it's something that you'll go solo or it's something that you would have to leave behind to go solo. I felt like it's an adventure. If it's not an adventure, it's a big thing to take a leap of faith or... Um, towards this it's it, it's a venture it's adventure it's money it's it could be job it could be business but this would start to kick off or you will get the spike of amazing result by the end of january 2022 it could be you wanting to have your own company firm um it could be you looking for a job all of the hard work that you are doing now you are going to get the good news the wish come true at the end of January 2022. It's a very financial stability adventure. And um, something that would grow your money exponentially. You know, a product development is here. Branding is here. Some of your hobby 
um, like things that you like personal stuff you do and then you sell it's going to spike up it's gonna be more and more professional at the end of 20 at the end of january 2022 so wish come true like there is a worth waiting situation nine of cups okay i felt like you're so busy with career adventure experiencing life day-to-day -day activity um january month is where you set the foundation of your dream your goal the romantic part of you guys would start around re exciting one february and march i mean you're seeing the lovers already in here so for january i really feel like you are centralizing you know like you are grounding yourself you know um january month january to Fe january to february month you're grounding yourself fro you're grounding yourself from goals project adventure shift that would you know that would come along that would play up until like the whole year so there's something big all of those all the mo you're building the momentum and you're like I'm, I'm hearing the word you're centering yourself you're grounding yourself into the the goal the project the plan so this is where you set the this is where you plant the seed this is where you put the roots you know january month it's where all of the setting your intention your project your goal and you're gonna start getting result you know wish come through result at the end of january 2022 some of some of the project that you're doing in january it's still a continuation of the last year so you're getting good good result the first of the amazing result january 2022 if you're looking for a job end of january going to first two weeks of feb if you're gonna set up a business the last week of january 2022 going to the first two weeks of um february that is where you're gonna get the sale you're gonna get the brand you're gonna get the structure and it's just gonna spike up so really really good so don't lose your focus if you don't have some someone kind of like if things are not really into a personal because you, you look like you're quite busy in here or not really much into romantic because the universe is kind of giving you sagittarius fortune money career adventure first set this up and then i'll give you a romantic february and march so, so the last uh the, the the first part of 2022 first quarter is about that that's setting your goal now around the month of feb most especially the mid month of feb you've got the lover's card the two of cups um it's a very relationship and romantic focus in feb and march lover's card this is someone in the past someone is going to come back to you in feb and they want everything from you they want to start all over again and this person is really going to open up their feelings to you their plan and their ambition i feel like you will be surprised that they will be the one to initiate with this okay you have already give up with this person not really give up but you kind of release nine of cups you release them if they come back then you will accept them and if you look at that there's a star in here you wish this to ha you wish this to be happen that they come back to you and that they are available and they don't have any baggage because i'm seeing the yellow thing in here like if you look at the lover's card there's a yellow thing in here i felt like there's a person that you know you've connected already there is a lot of loving moments and memories that you have connected with this person i feel like there is no baggage with this person they're coming towards you whole free no baggage no drama like what they promise you like what you have wished and manifested okay eight of swords six of pentacles the queen of swords they left all the baggage behind you know this person eight of swords before they came to you they have already balanced it out with this person something tells me that this person left someone to be with you something tells me this person has sort out all of the project the schedule the reputation i'm hearing those words reputation yeah solidly like this person is gonna come to you they'll close their eyes and forget everything like they've, they've they've done giving other people this person february march 20 february to march 2022 it's all about you and this person they're coming towards you solidly and they come very very far you know because if you look at the stairs in here they've come so far for you sagittarius they did not come to break your heart they come to earn your heart to earn your respect your trust your love so this person is really winning your heart and soul um and i really feel like 
No baggage, no drama. Okay. Eight of Swords, they, it doesn't really matter what other people or person said to them. They have hesitation, but if, like, there's a feeling in, in this person that if they hesitate, they will never do it again. So, Feb, March, you know, like, this this person is just gonna go six of pentacles you know i've done my bit you know six of pentacles i've done my part with the world i made someone happy i work hard so eight of swords i cannot stop it right now someone is gonna stop them i don't know maybe law maybe an ex um maybe a boss maybe a responsibility but for them i've done my bit with this like i've worked hard for this like let me be happy and connect with sagittarius yeah, four of wands. You know, I deserve to be happy. I deserve to be with Sagittarius. I've worked hard with my career, with my responsibility. So let me leave all of you and be a lover, be a two of cups. And I feel like this person would like to experience all the things you have done in the past. Yeah. You know, this person is very determined to forget everything, to leave everything behind. Not you, but those critics, those even with job, you know, it's time for you guys to really reconcile. That is what I'm getting from this person. So it's coming from the past. So there's a strong energy of Feb, Feb, the Feb in March for you to be relationship oriented. This is them. I'm not sure whether you're going to accept them. Okay. Because in this reading, you're quite excited with career and finance and adventure. You're becoming more and more independent. In January, you're becoming more and more independent. Around February and March, this is the energy that's what's coming towards you. A romantic, um, a romantic proposal. They're they're coming without baggage, and not only that, but they're willing to let go of other things to be with you. I'm not sure if you are at the same page, because I'm only I'm only getting their interest, you know. Because when I look at the the Ace of Swords, you know, like this is them. I'm not sure whether you're prepared to accept them. Because you are sitting in an energy of a nine of cups where I'm independent. I'm really enjoying this time. So I'm not sure whether you're willing to take them now where you have so much good stuff going on in career and business and adventure. You're kind of enjoying your life right now, Sagittarius. Let me tell you something. You're, you're enjoying your life. And I don't feel a very strong romantic energy. You know, it's a reading where when you don't want it, it's actually wanting you. So February and March. Something will keep you so busy, so pump up with, you know, exploring life, living life, friends, family, career, career development, something like that, that you would like to experience. You would like to grow. That will keep you busy and take your mind out of this. And you're not even bitter. You're just, okay, so you want it now. Really? Okay. Like, you did not expect this. You, you never expected that they would be so um, willing to do this, that they will be, they will be so available. The reason why I'm saying that you might not be as keen or interested because there is an emperor pretty much around the mar the month of March and April, the second quarter, quarter of 2022, they are willing to wait for you, emperor card. You are going to build a structure, okay? In the month of April, going May and June, uh, look at that, emperor card, six of wands. There's something that you're building, Okay, you're building a project, you're building a career, you're building a brand, you're building a portfolio. It's something that you're so focused independently that will allow you to have this strong stability and it will take effect longevity. Okay, there's a longevity that you aim like you really want to pull, you pull like you want to secure super duper proof secure something so you're building this and setting up something big not just for you for the company for your you know for your for your for a lifetime for some of you guys but this there's something that you're so focused building and because you're so focused in this in building in your life in something that related maybe maybe a building maybe a structure but you know fame famous you know this is something like it will comes all together that okay i'm so famous i'm so lucky i have money you know like this is super duper growth in 2022 jupiter is going to jupiter is in pisces so lots of creativity and then jupiter will move in aries which is your cousin sign you know the the fire sign so when this happened you're all fired up and you're so hungry with opportunity with money with career and you're not only looking into um like a now job or a now business like it's it's fun this is the bit no it's really serious it's like longevity you know um where is capricorn uh 
you know, there's a lot of eclipses happening in the earth sign and your ambition, your whatever you're setting up, maybe globally, you know, whatever you're setting up, it's practical. It's something that could go a long way. So it's not just passion. It's also passion and practical. Whatever this is, it's something that will that will secure you for a very long time. So this is really good. And that is why as much as you want them, you're kind of doing you. So this is them, Four of Cups. They will be waiting for you. Love will be in the air. Love will be, I mean, lover's card, two of cups. Love would be so easy for you to access if you initiate. If you want love, you initiate, you connect. There is love. There's someone, there is always one person who's going to be with you and wait for you. Okay? In this reading, you're very ambitious. You're very hungry. Most especially now that, I don't know, things are going to open up for us in 2022. A lot of opportunity potential. Um, 2021, it is the universal number five. It is organizing the unorganized now we come in 2022 the universal six which is all about we have a structure now we plan now we action okay so there's a lot of commitment for you to set up something big and practical that will take effect in at least 10 years in your life and i feel like it's business i feel like it's property i feel like it's something big i feel like you will make a difference in the world or your family or your life you know it's really really strong I would suggest to check it out, the merch, because it also comes with a free uh, 2022 universal number six and a full year horoscope or planning with the stars um, um, freebie. So check it out. It is in a website. So amazing first two, you know, for half quarter, the first six months of 2022. Now, so you're going to work hard, hard, work hard, work hard in the month of July, August, September you are going to experience what you built you're going to enjoy you're going to have fun you're going to explore because this is all about setting up you're very very hard working you're very hard working you're driven you're focused and if there is a challenge in here i feel like love will distract you love and relationship will distract you okay it will it will it will somehow unfocus you but you will power up with love and dating and romantic because it inspires you and that person will wait for you love will wait for you while you build the world while you build your property your finance you get stronger and stronger now you being a sagittarius once you are satisfied building setting up something you then have fun in the month of july and august there is a lot of travel there is a lot of social activity. There is a lot of movement. Three of Cups, Eight of Wands. From Feb up until August, you have an opportunity to meet a lover younger than you. And for some of you guys, something that's out of your league, or if it's not out of your league, like this is not normally your type, but you will have fun. You know? So you've got at least three, four, three opportunities that will happen to your romantic. One an ex. One someone you dated, one someone right now, one someone new. Okay, at least four. Um, so July and August is gonna be fun, fun time for you to, you know, relax, to take a break from the mid, you know, normally half if you feel a little bit tired, so half year you're gonna take a break, June, July, August, you can explore, you're gonna attend. You're going to take care of your social skills or your relationship with family and friends, you're gonna catch up. You're going to connect with the world, with people in July and August. Now, around the month of September, there is something heartbreaking in here or disappointing news. Oh, okay. Well, it's temporary, okay? Um, there is a very, very challenging October energy. It will be different from each one of you. But it can... Like, it can only pinch you, but it can never really hurt you because it's only temporary. Something tells me that whatever you will experience, something disappoint, big disappointment, three of swords, um, it will be replaced by the Ace of Pentacles. So, there's something of a not so good... It, it is a reading where it's kind of telling you October month that turn your sorrows into an opportunity. Okay yeah they will say sorry i feel like someone will 
possibly betray you or disappoint you big time but it's a test of time and you will eventually get closer uh, be more stronger than ever so it you will patch things up with this person they will be able to explain defend and prove to you that i will replace all of the sadness i gave to you into something happy or someone will make it up with you big time someone will not stop because <clears throat> this is what you felt three of swords so someone will ace of pentacles knight of cups they won't stop until they get your approval your forgiveness your attention someone is willing to go above and beyond to repair the three of swords okay so i feel like it's temporary and i feel like you'll forgive them on your own time because they will pursue not right away but they will pursue this person is a pursue a, ch a chaser yeah so november december January, like november the hangman so you probably stop talking to them or stop being a partner something tells me that you're going to full stop like full stop with someone with somebody it's a relationship it could be a family it could be a friend it could be a lover but they you will identify that they're not doing something nice to you it will disappoint you big time so full stop okay full stop hangman now i've clarified that that person who disappoint you or hurt you or did not approve you did not support you they'll come around they will pursue you over and over and over until you said yes i don't think you would said yes right away you blocked them for some of you guys the hangman you know look at you you know you're learning you're forgiving and you're releasing so i feel like you will forgive them or you will move on from this from this experience on your own time like no rush and you feel like they will be there because you know you are sitting in october november hangman and nine of ones like these are block okay you're gonna teach this person a lesson whoever this person is you're going to teach them a lesson there is at least three months window to repair what they did now around december month you <laughs> so you will lose some alliance let's put it this way um <clears throat> september october november something will happen that you might lose um, alliance or support or partnership something will happen that might disappoint you it's not your fault um i felt like they will come back it's temporary they're gonna win you they're gonna chase you um there's a lot of chasing towards you and really making making up making it up to you and proving to you that hey sagittarius you know i really don't mean that i want to repair what i did i want to make it up with you I want to give you something in order for you to realize or in order for, for me to prove to you that I'm really, really sorry or I want to make it up with you. I want to be partner with you. There's a lot of I want to fix it, okay? I feel like you're open to that but not right away because you've got the hangman, the nine, of, the nine of swords. So they're going to wait. They're going to chase you. Somehow in that chasing and waiting, I don't think they will give up but they would slow down and this is where you're December month is five of swords. I wonder what happened to them. Why they stopped chasing me? You know, like there's an element in here that it like, like keep it simple. Like don't go super duper flare up ego. Cause if, if you feel like they've earned already, like if this person will really work their way to get, to collect you, to get your approval, to forgive, to, to, to ask for your forgiveness. They will work hard, you know? and at some point this person will feel like okay i'm quite tired chasing sagittarius so let it be i'm gonna release it for now in december month you will miss them okay in december month you will miss this person so careful with being overconfident okay most especially if you are in the part or sitting in an energy where you are to be chased it could also be like a customer it could also be a business partnership where you feel like you've got the ace you've got the alas you know you've got the in this reading like you you know and you're confident you're always gonna come back to me because you need my service you need me you know or something you owe me something like that don't be overconfident because things could change quickly you're overconfident can lead you to missing an opportunity with this person i think you owe to accept like you i feel like you will accept them again you know for the good of the business the family or friendship or maybe as a lover because this is them you know like i've been chasing you you know you might miss someone like in december month you might think maybe it's a wrap up you know uh, you're closing the year 2022 and you're kind of thinking where is that important person who i wanted to learn teach a lesson here they are yeah 
So, by the month of December 2022, you will totally heal. You will realize that you've learned and you've given them a lot of time to, to think and to learn the lesson. So, I feel like in December month, when they come back, you will allow them to connect with you with a whole new opportunity, with, with a goal, with a feeling, with an energy of, okay, I will, I will let you in. I will understand you. Slowly, you'll give it. You'll, you'll give something to this person or someone. Opportunity, a ten of wands. It's, it's difficult. You know, it's difficult to do this or you're like, you know, ten of wands, it's kind of, it's kind of difficult what you did to me, but it's the end of the year, 2022. I'm so blessed. I don't want to carry baggage. I don't want to carry guilt or I don't want to carry um, dark, dark or shade. Sh you, know, you don't want to carry a lot of hurt and pain. You will release it by, I don't know, you might forgive them or you might let them in. If not entirely forgive them, at least you would let them in. I, I'd say that you are, be you're, becoming big person you'll choose to be a big person with this situation around the month of october november december and it feels so good that you 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 close you wrap up your 2022 with lots of forgiving and learning and you made an impact by teaching this person a lesson because you did not just earn an ally a lover you also earn a huge amount of respect from this people or person yes so that is a wrap that is your 2022 in a monthly and quarterly yearly your most important message for whole year i hope you have connected with me i hope you enjoyed the reading if you do click the bell click subscribe don't forget to check out the setting intention candle it comes free with uh, a bird chart reading in a full year astrology report that will really assist you and guide you, guide you if you want to plan by the stars I'll see you soon, guys. You have an amazing day. Bye-bye.